Uh, Oliver Slope, Blue Line Futures in Chicago. Uh, Oliver, anything? Uh, we had a commitment to trader, and uh, not a commitment to traders. Boy, oh boy, Catalan feed. Uh, I think you knew <laughs> what I meant. But uh, what are your thoughts there? Well, we had both. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We did. What's uh, yeah? The commitment to traders report showed uh, funds manage money were net sellers of about ten thousand five hundred contracts. That puts their net long position right at 50,000 contracts, which is a pretty modest position historically. But as you had mentioned, I think the more important number on Friday was that cattle on feed report, which had a little bit of a friendly backdrop to it. But we've been kind of talking with clients here at the end of last week and starting this week that this isn't really the time to, to get excessively bulled up. We're at the upper end of the trading range with today's open, and we're entering a, a time of year that's seasonally a little bit bearish. From November 27th into January, we've seen February live cattle retrace uh, for 14 out of the last 15 years with the average pullback of about three bucks. So if you want to be bullish, that's fine. But if, if you're a livestock producer, this is an excellent opportunity to protect price. All right, you just ended perfectly when they told me to wrap it up. So I can't add on anything because that was all just what we wanted. Great content. I appreciate that very much. Oliver, uh, have a great uh, Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving because it's so family oriented. It's a little, to me, it's better than Christmas, but who knows? Uh, maybe it's because I like eating, but I like eating at both of them. But anyway, thank you very much. Uh, Oliver Slope, Blue Line Futures, thanks for coming on. We're